So, did the guy knock off my mirror? I can't believe it. Did my mirror knock off? You once had on the menu, the 199 euros best steak in the world. Awarded number 2, which unfortunately didn't pass today in terms of price performance ratio. I don't even want to give a rating, folks. So, to the format, 4 stops today. First stop Arizona, the cheapest steak in town. Then we go to the Blockhouse, a legend in Hamburg. Also known beyond the liner. Good home cooking costs 27 euros, affordable rum. Then we go up a notch. We go to the most expensive rum in town, Theo's. Also touted as the best steak restaurant in town. They hit the meat with a garfer in 800 degrees. Really special, you have to try it. The meat really caramelizes in a very special way. And then we go up a notch. Go to mash and eat the best steak in the world. Award winning, 2022 VU 199 euros. Enjoy the video. Hello, my heart and soul, greetings from Rainy Hamburg. Today we're going to test the cheapest and most expensive steak in Hamburg and not only that, but much more. You'll hear exactly what it's all about in a moment. We're on our way to the Arizona now. We've just tested Arizona, already in the other video. Price performance ratio. We'll snack on the cheapest steak first. As I said, we'll see you there in a moment and then there will be a few words about the format. I always have the camera on Sexy Maxi. We're already there. There it is, Arizona. So, very briefly, we're now bringing out the cheapest steak. We'll have a medium version and a high-priced version, namely the best steak in the world. Awarded the best steak in the world. We'll explain what that's all about later. I don't want to babble on for too long. So just watch the video, sit back, snack on something nice and then we'll get the cheapest steak 10. Check it out, hey. That's a blast. And we'll add that now. I just have to say, I've just made a video, I'll maybe link it at the end. We've already tested rip eye here and filet, which was really sturdy. Well, I always say with a shop like this, of course you have to take price performance into account. There's no other way. If you can't buy a VW and a Lambo, you can't buy a filet, you can't buy a what am I talking about? Hey, can't you buy a VW and expect a Lambo? Yes, we'll include that. We're going straight into the rumstack round one now. Have fun. So, did the guy knock my mirror off? I can't believe it. He knocked my mirror off. Did you knock my mirror off? Really? Yes. Where? Here, on the front left. BMW. Coming right away. Great. All right. Now the steak is here. Now I have to eat the steak at the same time. The guy knocked my mirror off. Oh man. Hey. Better. Man. Hey. Look. Here we even have a chimey che with it. Sturdy bread. Why are we filming outside? No mention. Arizona is always worried about filming guests and so on. That's why we have to film outside. Exactly. Now we have the rum steak here. Oh, there's my Ole. Well prepared, tenderly fried, perfectly salted, high muscle content. Just a bit firmer, not the squishy piece. Add the sauce. Lemony, fresh, herbaceous, great stuff. A little bit of the fat left. Sometimes it's cut off, sometimes not. You can't complain about this thing, really not. One more piece. Croquettes. No need to say croquettes, this is standard stuff. It's tender, as I said, perfectly salted, good meat flavor. For me, for the price, folks, price performance ratio, this is a 9 out of 10. This really is an absolute recommendation, this steakhouse. We're going to Theo's now. Theo's. There are lots of contenders, but lots of people say Theo's is the best steakhouse in Hamburg. That's where we're going now. We'll try the steak. Mid-priced range. I think it costs 49 euros. Small change of plan, because we've got a moment now and I always want to adapt to your needs. Kisses go out to everyone who offers constructive criticism. Videos have been too short recently. I'll respond to you. Walk past because the other shop isn't open yet. Let's go to Blockhouse. I don't even know if it's only in Hamburg. In any case, it's a Hamburg institution. We're now at shop number 2. Blockhouse icon in Hamburg. Pretty much everyone here knows a chain. I'm excited. I'm excited. Now let's move on. Cool, my Oli is already here. Hey. Oh yeah, why are we eating outside again? Because shop 1, as mentioned earlier, we couldn't film inside. Shop 3, you're not allowed to film inside there either, for equal opportunities. That's why we eat outside everywhere. And look, it looks like a pepper crust.
Have you seen the pepper crust, right? There's a light pepper crust on it. The potato side dish is also very strong, ultra creamy. Maybe here again so you can see it. It's also well fried. The salt and pepper crust is quite interesting. But the pepper comes through less or not at all. But if you compare it with spot one and in the hustle and bustle I completely forgot. That also comes from the charcoal grill. So it also has a light wood flavor. Compared to spot one, this is the worst steak. The other one is much tenderer. The meat flavor is similarly strong, but it's just tenderer. It has even more oomph. It has more aftertaste. It has more refinement thanks to the charcoal character. It costs almost a third and is really better over there. This isn't bad, don't get me wrong, but what's inside is just a cracker for the price. This is okay. When we say better, it doesn't mean that the other is bad. Not at all. This is solid. A rock solid thing. Well cooked. I'll just give it a 7 without philosophizing about it for 100 years. Afterwards I might think something different, but I'm giving this a 7. We're at what a lot of people say is the best stage in Hamburg. It could be, I can imagine that they don't have these. What's it called? These things that they give it out in. These transport boxes. Do you have to get it put on here? Yes, nothing will work. If that's the case, I'll come and get it. But take it with me right now. Take it with me right now. I'll have it right away. Okay, brother, what a pity. What a pity. You won't get it. HS taken. Hey, ellipsis dot. And here just ahead of you. This is the grand. See the Theos, I don't want to say, is part of it. It's a hotel restaurant. I think that would be a lie, but it's right next to here. Here's the Brasserie and over there is Theos. Oh, my colleague is coming out. I think he needs a plate. Do you need the plate? They don't give it out. If so, we have to sit down and film. We're supposed to learn how to film here. Okay, we've got a table for two now. We can go in now. Yes. Yes. Okay. But what about the car? Then you go in alone. Then I'll go in alone. Then I'll film alone. Oh, cool. Hey, then I'll go in together. Yes. Okay. Let's do it like that. Here's the entrance. Very magnificent. And this is where we go straight in. Let's see. Maybe we'll eat one of the steaks inside quickly. Yes. Yes. There's no other way. Now we're forced to eat here, as I said, because they won't give it out. They don't want to give it out. We have to leave it in. Nice porterhouse. T-bone steak. T-bone. Deck. Oh dear. Scotch bones. So the Scottish are on the bone. M huh. That's the runch. Exactly. Exag. Okay. That looks phenomenal. That's about 300 grams, isn't it? Exactly. That's exactly 300 grams. Super. Medium rare. Straight. Yes, you can do that. That's probably the house recommendation, right? Then we'll take medium. Okay. Dream. Thank you. Is what's in front of us just a dream? You're welcome. Thank you. Really great fruity. Intense. Hey, yes. Nice sourdough bread, right? Yes. We've got enough of that from the back if you want it. Yes. What would you do if I ordered 10 sourdough breads afterwards and then it wasn't? Here today. <laughs> Nice sourdough bread, nice salted butter. Oli, I'm telling you for you too, right? I've already told the viewers. Of course too, right? I don't know what it would have been like in the first restaurant or the second one we filmed there but I can imagine it. It's obviously very exclusive here and you feel very valued here. It's a different feeling. That has to be right, of course. Either it's important to one person or it's not. I could say that it's not important to me in general, but when you do get it, it feels kind of great to be treated like that. Everything. That's good bread, I can tell you. Our bread is cut like that on purpose. That's what the head chef wants. It's Catholic. The bread should be broken. Great. He's Catholic. Yes, we break bread for the next person. Yes, everything here has a reason. You've heard that the bread is broken. Really delicious bread, good butter, intense flavor. At the end, the smash doesn't go easy on the 199 euro steak. I'll show you what it's like. Here, for example, a caserella is made fresh. It is always made fresh here, if you want it at the table. Each one is very hot, very hot. The one with Sedellin, that is sure to be really cool. I'll be honest with you, I would have taken the one with Sedellin. Oh, I would really like that now too.
But that's not funny. Is that camera bonus? Do you always do that? No, always like that. Yes, always. That was not a bonus. Was it here or what? Guys, I'm already loving the video so much. How unexpected often can you say that? Or who? That. Unexpectedly comes to us two half idiots here in Theo's in the best steak restaurant. Thank you for making this possible for me. Hey. Oh, thank you. Kiss, kiss. Prime from the guys from the USA, Scotland and Australia. I asked him if I could order something to go. They said they wouldn't do it. Then I asked if I could have it on a plate and go out. They said they don't do it either. I asked. I asked what would happen if I sat down and then took the plate and just walked out. He said no, we wouldn't do that either. It started. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Hey, it even came across here. Very hot. Oh, that's how it's supposed to be, right? It goes through like butter. I don't know if you can hear it. Very buttery note, as if they'd injected the butter into it. Here from the side, the fat. The fat has such a strong taste. A dream, everything is a dream. Everything you said about this 800 degrees oven, it's intense. With this crust, nothing can compare to the normal product. Super crispy in terms of taste too. It creates such a strong caramelized taste. Really soft as butter. That fat on the outside. Look at the fat again. I'll be honest, rum steak is definitely not my top option when I order steak. But as a non-outlet rum steak fan I really like it. So it's really this edge on the outside, this intensity of this salt which pushes and intensifies the fatty taste. Really wild, slowly getting stronger. The salt explodes in the mouth. Everything is juicy. Everything is super. The broccoli is beautiful. What a poem, beautiful to bite into. I'll tell you honestly, these little pieces of onion are very important here and really add the finishing touch. This butter foam. A kind of hybrid of butter and a beautiful white sauce. But I have it with garlic, it works perfectly with the salt and the intensity is overwhelming. And here too, I don't know how some people do it, not all salt is the same, you can completely oversalt salt. You have salt on something and you don't notice it. Here it is a salt that overwhelms you with its taste, that it penetrates together with the garlic, which somehow catalyzes each other. Your mouth wants to conquer it. The sauces again are really strong, I want to try those too. Alessandro says that's all he needs and I tell you, I'm starting to trust Alessandro. Alessandro knows what he's doing here. In my opinion, Alessandro is a top guy. So, what can I say, guys? The amazing steak you just had with a dash of butter on top. Unbeatable. Now this sauce because the steak is so tomatoey. Yes. To top it off. Unexpectedly smooth, light flavor, not intense, nice accompanying flavor, see you at the best steak in the world. So, if I were to rate it now I'm always a fan, because I haven't made that many steak videos there's always room for improvement, but I would have given it 9.2 out of 10 points, simply because I don't know what's coming, but the air up there is already very, very thin, the air up there, well that was really, at least not much left, right? Yes, I'm very happy with it. I still have the guys from the kitchen. I also wanted to give you a big compliment. Well, you did a really great job. This cooking process with this caramelization. Why did you say again above? Caramelization. Exactly. So. A 1A is really different from a standard sack. Yes, of course. At 800 degrees top heat it is of course a bit hotter than. And you don't have an oven like that at home, right? But a bit small. Okay, good. Yes, maybe that will work too. Yes, okay, good. That was really good. So, in real terms, I'll say that there is of course no comparison to the log cabin. Absolutely no comparison. You have to look at it first. The price performance ratio is really good. You just have to see what you fancy. In this case you can't say better or worse if you take the price performance ratio into account. Everyone just has to see for themselves what they fancy. But now if you just look at the taste, you know, just the taste, if you ignore everything else. It was of course a hit and can't be top. Of all three, that's obviously right at the top. It was great, guys, great. We're almost at MH.
Okay, let's go now. We've already seen a few pictures of this shop. Hey, lie. Oh, it gets pretty busy there in the evenings. I'm usually here in the afternoons. We're not going to show that much now. We'll take a couple of little shots and then it'll get going in a flash. Yes, I have my best man. Hey, I always love seeing you. Do you know what kind of wild video we're doing today? What's going on today? We didn't even know. We just ran in like it was our shop. Today we're comparing the cheapest and the most expensive and we were at Theo's too. We did something in between. Now we want to get to the final boss. The best for last. Yes, man, awesome. Awesome and then yes. Maybe you could bring us the card again and then let's say what we want. No. No problem. Awesome dream. Okay, bro. See you soon, right? So, I'll show you the private dining room again. It's beautiful here. Wow, look at the wine rooms here, hey. Oh, great. Great. Tell me, how is it now? What's up? Is there anything nice for us today? Well, we wanted. You had it on the menu once. The best steak in the world for 199 euros. We have that. We wanted that. My colleague said it's not Kobo, but in the region, in a similar region. Or how is it? Yes, we also have it from Akune. There is also Vaku. Also Japanese we but I have prepared Kerr. But you know what? I'll prepare both for you. And then I'll ask you about the difference. Yes, great. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Correct. Oh, now there's even a comparison, folks, you heard it, they have this one with the award for the best steak in the world, they have that there, and then they have the Kobe there, the Kobe is even more expensive for 100 grams, 100 grams for 149 euros for the Kobe and 100 euros for the other one, yes, and we're doing a direct comparison. Hey, wild, hey. The video takes on proportions. Fresh from the oven. Still nice and warm, it's already time. I saw strip loin on the menu. What do you think such a thick piece like what you have costs? You can easily buy Mercedes with 4 to 5 kilograms of Japanese view. Crazy, hey, crazy, crazy, crazy. What I brought with me is of course the Akuna. That we were just talking about. Akuna, right? Clearly visible with the 200 grams. Thick fat marbling. Far marbling. Yes, I often have it from the start. I have speech impediments that I can't get rid of. No problem. And what you mentioned earlier. Is the curb fleisch that I have prepared for you. During the day we always prepare our special cuts for the evening. This is an American morning rip. We fed it only corn for 60 days, which gives it a lovely sweet crust on top. Crust and nice and juicy on the inside. It's along the bone and of course as in our lots of fat. Yes, you're going to make us the three now, right? How much does this cost with that? That's obviously 900 grams with a lot. Usually fluctuates around 15 to 16, 16, 50 per 100 grams. Okay. Huh. Yes, stable. E, let's go with it then. Hey. I'm really excited about it. So, we can even go into the kitchen for a minute. We're going to take a couple of cool photos here now. Things are getting busy now. The smaller one was the Kobol, the other was the Akun, right? Akun Gold. Okay, Akun Gold, awarded best cut in the world 222, right? So, we now have the two Kobinger medium rare ones. The other one recommended we make it medium, also because of the bone content. And now we're going all out. Oh, you've got all the side dishes now too. You're awesome. Oh, man, hey. This is the Akune. Here I have Kobol. It's also from our own piece of fat, right? Exactly. Now comes the other colleague. This is the Aku, right? Now the Corel, folks, the Kerbal. Was a direct comparison, really.
a bit of salt. Sorry, that goes straight in. That was just for the fat. The fat has such a taste. I've never had such a coarse, intense fat taste with a steak. Really so tart. Simply tart, dark, intense. Now this is noticeably crisper. A very special, unique taste. I would have said both of them. It's a bit lemony. So really fresh, you know? Fresh. I can't describe it any better. A bit of salt on top. It's so tender and juicy, it melts in your mouth. I wasn't expecting that. Hey, I have to say, I've already eaten cur here at Mesh. I devoured that one. So, of course it always depends on the chef's form on the day. And also the meat. The Sukuno was much stronger, much tougher, much more individual. A meat taste that I've never had before. As I said, this fresh, lemony world, world, world at Kobol. Okay, this bitter meat taste is great. But what you see in the marbling, this fat streaks, where you bite through and simply notice that you're not biting through anything. Strangely enough, that wasn't the case at Kobol this time. It was cool, a free cross on the outside that was like parchment paper. To put it bluntly, I'll order the Kurobe here again because I know how it can be, but if I had only eaten this Kobe here today, I wouldn't have ordered it again. The Akune immediately. Immediately, it's a force. I've said many times, probably in videos too, that it's something that everyone should try at least once. Whatever income bracket or social class you come from, Everyone should be entitled to eat it once, because it really is an experience. It's a must, I'd say. Now comes the rip E, just kept warm for a moment. So, we have the fat eye, we have the bone on. Oh, that smells so intense, really coarse. That smells really, awesome. Really animalistic. So, you know, because we're talking about steak today, we might snack on the side dishes again off camera. I'll have to see how the flow is. Just so you don't get surprised. That's the piece of meat that I would order. Nice and fatty, full of flavor. Simply a highlight, folks. First bis won me over straight away. I'm also a fan of Rai Y. The nice thing about this piece of meat is that compared to the others, you can't really say it's worse. The nice thing about it is that the meat flavor is simply more intense. That animalistic taste, that was the case with the one sample, there was this bitter, fatty taste. This is the meat here, which is much bitterer, much more intense, much darker in taste, so simply more robust. It's exactly my thing, guys, it's exactly my thing, it really is a dream. Then you really have an ultra high amount of fat, you can see it here. And if you like fat, it's what gives you everything you need as a meat lover. It brings everything out of the taste. It blows everything out. It makes everything better in this steak. What do you find in this steak? Highlight, guys. Highlight. We'll snack for a bit. I might give some overall feedback on the side dishes. Let's move on to the final evaluation. Wow, now I really have to collect myself. What am I going to do here now? I really have to think again about what I'm going to do here with this hot. Hey, it's much too hot. I burned my hand. Oh, idiot. I'm going to come out with it now. I'm not a person who thinks too much. For me, everything has its right to exist somewhere. But two things today, if you take price performance into account, i.e. if you look at the other parts, simply weren't quite as worthwhile. If I had the option of going to shop 1 for 10 euros and 70 cents, which was better than shop 2 for 27 euros at Blockhouse, then of course I'll go to shop 1. In other words, Blockhouse somewhere today also has great stuff, but didn't perform quite as well in the test today. Then we go on to Theo's for 52 euros. This thing is a beast. Great price performance, absolutely it's right to exist. Then the mesh is also absolutely amazing and it's right to exist. The Akuna for the price, it doesn't matter, price performance 9.5 points. That's incomprehensible. You have to try it if you've only eaten normal steak, you have no comparison. It's something different, it's a different world. It feels like if you've eaten steak before, then this is no longer steak. It needs a different name. Just like the Rippy, price performance ratio also 9.5. Insane. It is insane. More than that. Both are at least 
there are no words to describe it. Number two, which unfortunately is not standard today in terms of price performance ratio, would be the Kobe. I would have one of those price performance things, but today I actually don't want to give a rating, folks, because I think it's crap too. I've eaten here so often, it was so bad, but we really have to, it was so bad, so bad, but today I couldn't give it more than 5 out of 10 for price, because it just wasn't bad for the price. I hope you liked the video, met your wishes, made another long video. Give me the thumbs up if you liked the video, leave me a comment with what you think of the video and generally your experience with steak and yes, with cool steaks. I still need some great recommendations from your cities and then I'll say see you next time.